Hello everyone, I'm Weavery and welcome back to another video. Especially welcome to this guide though, where today I explain the Voldrakken Accord Major Faction Reputation System and how to obtain and farm renown rewards through this system. Before I explain though, I would like to mention the fact that subscribing is so easy and well appreciated, and with that out of the way, please enjoy the rest of this video. Surprising enough, you unlock this major faction in the first zone, the Waking Shores. This faction is mostly about the dragons, titans, and the aspects, including Alexstrasza and her questionable voice lines. I will listen. Of course you will. Do you think I have big mom energy? What the? And once unlocked for each 2,500 reputation you earn with the... Valdraken Accord, another level of renown rewards will become available for you to access. And that is the main goal for this video, to tell you how to progress through these renown levels at an efficient rate. First off, as always, I will discuss the rewards you can obtain from the Valdraken Accord Major Faction. You can obtain many things, but some of the special rewards are things such as Transmog, Pets, 376 and 389 item level pieces of gear, quest lines, customization for your dragon riding drakes, and so much more. So, in many ways, there is multiple reasons for getting this reputation to maximum renown. Making sure you've completed the leveling campaign is the most important thing on this list by far, for not only does it give reputation with the Veldraken Accord in all zones, but at the end it also unlocks world quests, which fills your map with many quests to complete, and some giving reputation with the major faction Veldraken Accord. These world quests can offer gear, gold, and supplies, but also give bonus reputation for that specific type of world quest. Side quests are up next. Every zone has side quests to complete, and usually one zone will give would give the most reputation with the major faction located in that zone, like the Tuska and the Azure Span, for example. But the thing is, the Valdraken Accord has side quests all throughout the Dragon Isles, and a way to see what quest lines you have or haven't completed is through the Sojourner achievements in the Dragon Isles. But if I had to pick one zone that would give the most reputation with the Valdraken Accord, I would say... Thaldrazis is your best bet. Another thing is the weekly quest obtained from an NPC in the ma main area of Valdraken, where you complete a centaur hunt and obtain 4000 reputation, and once turned in, you get 500 reputation for all of the major factions, factions including the Valdraken Accord. Next topic is the Siege on Dragonbane Keep. This is where you help the black dragons take back Dragonbane Keep by killing mobs and setting up areas for the friendly NPCs. This rewards you with Dragonbane reward boxes, which can give dragon scale artifacts, gold, gear, supplies, and something else which is really important for this reputation and it's called Titan Relics. Now the reason why the Titan relics are so important is because that's what makes this reputation farmable. You can turn these into Sorotus, the lead Titan researcher in Valdraken, for 15 reputation each. There are multiple ways to obtain these Titan relics, such as Obsidian Citadel Farming, Siege on Dragonbane Keep, but the main way I obtain them is through the magic bound chests all throughout the zones, and you unlock these chests by reaching Renown 16 with the Dragon Scale Expedition, which I am now Renown 22 and have unlocked it. Watch the video in the description where I talk about the Dragon Scale Expedition farm. And now that we've talked about the side quests, the world quests, campaign quests, the weekly quest, Siege on Dragonbane Keep, and the Titan Relics, and the magic bound chests. I have to say good luck obtaining this reputation. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did and I will see you all in my next one. Bye bye.